Okay, time for another live. Post-trib moment number 23. This is a good one. I want to say one more thing about those who say that Revelation 4.1 is referring to the rapture. Obviously, it's not literal because in John, uh, or I'm sorry, in Revelation 4.1, it's only one person, John, being caught up to heaven. Not all believers. There's no trumpet. There's only a voice like a trumpet. And <laughs> okay, we've covered this before. The voice, as it were, a trumpet is the trump of God that's only mentioned in the, in the two rapture passages, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Again, he's a liar. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And by the way, he won't give you those references in John that I looked up earlier. The disciple whom Jesus loved. John 1926, John 20 verse 2, John 21 verse 7, John 21 verse 20. Four references to John being the disciple whom Jesus loved. Okay? Ephesians chapter 5 says, Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Christ loved the church. The disciple whom Jesus loved. Don't you see the tie in there? This is given as a type. John is given as a type of the church. I mean, you'd have to be pretty blind to not believe that. But let's continue. And in verse 2, it says he's only caught up in the spirit. But yet, uh, pre-trib believers will say... Which we covered earlier there, the, the spirit... In the Spirit just means that he's in the Holy Spirit. Okay? Paul went different places on the earth and he said, I was in the Spirit. Okay? Again, he doesn't know Scripture. Well, it's not literal, it's symbolic, but it does represent the rapture. John being caught up in chapter 4, verse 1, represents the rapture. It does. Now, watch what he does here, little, another desperate piece of lying. Well, here's what's funny. If you go back to chapter 1, you know, using their logic, saying, well, John represents all believers being caught up into heaven. Well, if you use their logic, go back to Revelation chapter 1. The Bible says in verse 9, I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation. Ooh. Oh, well, this must prove that we're going to go through the Great Tribulation. Oh, that's right. The Great Tribulation is not the name for that time period. Tribulation is just simply a description of what all Christians go through at any time in their life. Okay, there are Christians right now in tribulation in China. That doesn't mean that we're in the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, this, this little liar. Ugh. And in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ was in the isle that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Now, I interpret the Bible literally. I don't... I don't base what I believe on somebody's symbolic interpretation. Oh, really? You don't uh, base what you believe on somebody's symbolic interpretation? Okay, let's go with that logic for a minute. He's not into uh, symbolic interpretation, huh? How about John chapter 3? Let's see here. How about uh, verse 14? And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness... Even so, must the Son of Man be lifted up. You mean Jesus would compare himself to a serpent in the wilderness being lifted up? Yeah, do the study sometime. It's, it's very fascinating. The people would be bit by a serpent back here, and all they had to do is look to the serpent on the pole. And here you have somebody is bit by the serpent of sin today, and all you got to do is look to Jesus Christ on Calvary. Jesus Christ on the cross to be healed. Purely symbolic. Jesus was obviously not a serpent, but in type, he pictures this event back in the Old Testament. So again, Steve Anderson, oh, I don't believe in things that are symbolic. I interpret things literally. He is a liar or completely ignorant of Scripture. <laughs> 